Ah, back again, further to this fan true dash cam, the T2. Um, I mentioned that it plugs into the OBD port, so you can utilise the uh, power from the car when the ignition is turned off, uh, and that's all very well. But there's only one OBD port, obviously, under the steering wheel or in the driver's footwell. Um, I obviously want to fit a second camera and I also don't want any of that disturbed if uh, diagnostics have to be plugged in uh, to the car. So with that in mind on eBay we found a three-way adapter so uh, we can plug this end into the OBD port, we can plug two into the cam uh, camera uh, cables and uh, then we've got a spare one uh, for any diagnostics at the dealership and uh, although the cable supplied with this is quite long it certainly isn't going to go from the front of the car to the sorry the rear of the car to the front so again we have found a simple extension cable uh, I can't remember that was 10 feet I think it was about 10 foot I think you get a so we're going to, we've got about 20 foot to work with, um, but if that's not long enough, I'm obviously just going to have to buy a bigger uh, cable. They are all individually pinned, uh, sorry, wired. So uh, I think it's 16 wires on uh, OBD ports. Two, four, six, eight, four, yeah, 16. So 16 wires, all individually connected. Uh, should not cause any problems with uh, with anything. If you've already got something like a, a car diagnosis uh, dongle plugged in to your OBD. Honda at the moment are supplying those free of charge if you buy a new car and uh, it links up to your uh, iPhone, Android device, whatever, uh, from you know, for all sorts of different functionality. Um, so if you've got something like that plugged in, a two or three way adapter is uh, is the way to go. Won't interfere with uh, with anything. So yeah, just thought I'd mention that. Uh, we will get this uh, new one wired into the back of the car, and uh, and then we'll do a uh, in-car look at uh, at everything.